All right, everyone, hope you're having a good weekend. This is Mike with the uh, watch list video for Monday, July 22nd. The SPY a third day down in a row, um, down below the 20 day. We'll see what happens. Uh, certainly the horizontal line there does show some decent recent support, you know, right around that 540, whatever that was. Do it again real quick. We're on 542 and a half, maybe something like that. Let me slide this over real quick. Got new faces in chat. If you're a new face, pause this video and read that. It'll get you up to speed a little quicker on what we're all about. Um, as far as Friday goes, SERV, even though the market was weak, um, we kind of latched on to SERV early. Some great calls in it. Uh, the best call by Darren over 444. Never looked back from there. Um, but also two or three different pullback plays um, were posted in there, pulled back play ideas, and pretty much all of them worked. So, so th that's all I traded. I don't know, three or four, maybe five trades in SERV. Um, and that's all I traded all day. Um, anyway, it is certainly on watch going into Monday because of that big breakout. NVIDIA has a stake in them is what, was what it got going, right? Um, certainly one of the top watches for the next week or so, right? If you're a day trader, you always want to watch the in-play stuff, and that one qualifies. BNED is a weird chart, but I'll, I'll zoom in a little bit. You know what? Hang on. Let me switch charts. That actually didn't help that much. Um, I got I went away from the one with the 200 day on it, uh, but I still have the 60 day on this, and I'm not going to go through and remove it and then have to put it back in. So, um, but yeah, sometimes these uh, moving averages can smash everything down when you're trying to zoom in and show something. Uh, but you can still see it, right? We had a big rip on Thursday for BNED. I think on an insider purchases. Um, and then kind of a quiet inside day on Friday. This one can move. If I hover over this thing, the low on uh, Thursday was 820 and the high 1114. So percentage-wise, that's a massive move. Um, I'm definitely going to have this one on watch on, uh, on Monday. QS, uh, starting to finally pull back, had the gap up, and then just a three or four day rip. And now we're getting a pullback on lower volume. I really like this area. You guys know that between the 8 and the 20, somewhere down here, maybe... Um, I don't know, somewhere in that area, 7.30ish, could be interesting if it can get down there. Um, that's how I'm watching it at first, and I'd say the same thing for J-O-B-Y. Huge move on nice news. Now you got a few days lower. You know, I like the middle of that zone between the 8 and the 20. It almost got there on Friday. Um, certainly, this area is a level to watch. So QS and Joe B, J O B Y both kind of interesting um, dailies that are pulling back. Starbucks had... Uh, Stake reported, I think, and maybe going private. Um, well, maybe was it Elliot? I'm not sure now. But anyway, big rip on Friday. So we're going to watch that one. That's SBUX. LCFY. It's just, I don't know why it's running, but it's holding up really well, especially in the week tape on Friday. So that one goes on a chart because I'm a day trader. TKNO had a nice pop reversal the day after, and it's already right back up near those recent highs. Um, I think this one... I hate to misspeak, but I think this one was on Insider Purchases too. Uh, could have been something else. But anyway, that one goes on watch. SDST, massive rip here. Now you've got two red days on declining volume. This is a very spready stock, so be aware of that. But if it sets up cleanly as a bounce play, like you guys in chat know what I look for on those, right? I will definitely try a trade in it. And I would make the same comment on uh, LPA. I'll try to zoom in a little bit so you can see the massive move from eight dollars all the way up to what 32 and now you got a few days lower on much lower volume um that one lpa and sdst both pretty similar in that they're kind of obscure but they they had big rips and and pullbacks on lower volume um you know what i'm going to switch charts again hang on there you go i have one chart where i always have the 200 day on and that's the purple line there and so amd has fallen pretty quickly five straight da days down into the 200 day closed a little blow up that doesn't mean that much to me um you also had this recent low of 141.16 um but i think we might get a turn here um i had said on friday i think i tweeted if i was a swing trader and the world wasn't going to shit, I'd probably nibble on that uh, friday afternoon but um neither one of those things are true so i'm not in it but i, I definitely think it's oversold here and could give a nice bounce trade. Um, SMR, also just on bounce watch, um, straight five days down in a row and it's been really strong. Um, INOD, another bounce play, right down there in that buy zone between the eight and the 20 after a nice run. QURE, also getting down to that area, that middle of that eight and the 20, that's the area I like. Goes on bounce watch and lastly, 
KYMR, um, another really strong stock pulled back for a few days on lower volume. All right, that's it. We'll add gappers in the pre-market tomorrow. I will see you all in the pre-market, hopefully catch some pre-market trades. And certainly we're going to catch some trades uh, as the day unfolds on Monday. All right, we'll see you then.